Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us in Helping Hands class of 2020. Alex, could you start with a word of prayer? Let's pray. Our kind and loving Father, may you guide us as we do this lesson. May you bless them in Jesus' name. Pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Um, uh, we are going to do uh, the third lesson of our uh, Adventurer Helping Hand cl class. Um, and with me, we have uh, the Adventurers Club members. On my left, they could introduce themselves. My name is Alex Amosa CK. My name is Tracy Kemunto. And my name is Esther Omosa. We are going to take us through the, uh, the lesson. Um, and the, the lesson uh, for this session is about my world. And we're going to do two awards. The first award is about um, uh, the, the listening. We're going to learn on how to listen. The second award is going to be about the universe. The adventurous song will be Tracy and Alex. So Alex, please uh, tell us the, the adventurer pledge and the law. Could you stand up? Because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. Uh -huh. And the adventurer laws? Be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. Thank you very much. So the two of you will uh, sing for us the adventurous song. We are adventurers at home at school at play. We are adventurers. We are learning every day to be honest, trying to to be like Jesus through and through. We are adventurers. Thank you very much. So we are first going to learn about listening. Um, and listening, uh, we know our first adventure law talks about being obedient. And being obedient is being able to listen and respond at the first instance. Okay? And uh, we are also the, we're going to learn about reverent. And we'd like Stacy to tell us what does reverent mean. We know our laws, the last law, number 10, says be reverent. What does being reverent mean? I, I will take, I will listen to God, his word, and his messengers. I will take good care of my Bible and church property. I'll not make fun of holy things. Very nice. Thank you. So we learn in the Bible, there were people who were not reverent in church. You remember the story of Jesus and the money changers? Uh, people had come to the temple of God and they were selling things. They had made the church of God in the old days to be like a marketplace. So people had money, they were exchanging money. Others had animals, others had food. They were selling and exchanging in, in the temple. And Jesus was very unhappy with that. Uh, he beat them and chased them from the church and overturned the tables um, and told them to respect the, the church of God. And this shows us that they were not reverent in church because being reverent means that we need to respect uh, God's property and that uh, we should not make fun of holy things. Uh, so uh, the, the other thing now we are going to learn is about listening. Uh, in the book of 1 Samuel, um, chapter 3, it talks about Samuel. Samuel uh, was taken to the, ch to the temple to be nurtured and uh, be brought up in God's ways. And we find that um, one night when he was sleeping, he had a voice uh, calling at, in the middle of, of the night. And it was saying, Samuel, Samuel. So Samuel woke up from his sleep and he went to uh, priest Eli and uh, asked him, yes, I've come. Eli told him, I haven't uh, called you. Go back and sleep. And he went back and slept. As he was sleeping again, he heard some, a voice calling, Samuel, Samuel. He woke up again and went to uh, priest Eli. Eli told him, no, I haven't called you. So go back, but when you are called, say, please uh, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So he went back and he had a calling the third time. The calling was calling Samuel, Samuel. And then he responded, uh, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So we, uh, the, then the Bible tells us that he was able to listen to uh, the voice of God and God gave him instructions. So as adventurers, it teaches us that we need to listen. Uh, we need to listen to the voice of God and we need to listen uh, to the uh, people who tell us things 
uh, and we need to be obedient. And we said being obedient is being able to respond at the first instance. Okay? So when mommy and daddy calls you, uh, how long should you uh, come when they have called you, Alex? After five minutes? No. How, how soon? Immediately. Immediately. Yes. yes. So when you are called or you are told something, you do it immediately. That means you're being obedient and you're able to listen. So we have um, an activity here. Tracy is going to show us how he made a telephone. And telephones are used uh, to pass a message. So you have to be very uh, obedient to be able to listen. You have to be patient to listen what the person on the other end is saying. So Tracy, please tell us how you went about to make this uh, telephone. Um, I took two plastic cups, a string, and a kiberiti. I burnt a hole in the plastic cups in the bottom, and then I put a string through it. Then I tied a stick at the end so it couldn't get out or a knot. Okay? Yes. So we want to see how they are going to demonstrate to listen when somebody is going to talk. So um, uh, Alex is going to say something and, and Tracy is going to, to, to respond. So if you want to make the telephone, you can make it as long as you want. So for this one, the string uh, is, is this length. It means that you can only communicate from here to here. So you can make it as long as you want. And these days, we have the telephones that use wireless. So they have very long unseen strings so you can communicate. So unless you listen to the person on the other side, you will not hear what they say. So we want Alex and Tracy to demonstrate about talking and listening. So um, move as far as you can so the string is straight, uh, long enough, and then you say something. We hear if Stacy, Tracy can hear what you're telling her. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. This is fun. What did she say? This is fun. This is fun. Yes. So uh, at home, we can make a listening uh, a, a, a telephone, and it teaches us to be um, obedient and being able to listen. So at the end of the class, when you make a telephone, uh, just something close like this, or even better, it means that you're going to get a listening award. So uh, we are going to hear two verses, uh, one from the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. What does it say, Stacy? It says, um, I will give you a hope and a future. Yes. Jesus says, I have the plans for, for you. you. Mm -hmm. The plans to give you a hope, the plans to give you a future. Very nice. So God tells us that he has plans for us. So when we listen to him, we are able to um, know that he's telling us that he has plans to give us a future and a hope. So Hear and give ear. Do not be proud, for the Lord has spoken. Very nice. So... That is James. So the next uh, less, uh, activity we are going to learn about um, the, the universe. Um, and also the universe, uh, we know we are in the planet Earth. And God has promised us the heaven. So we, first of all, we'd like to see how heaven would look like. We are told that God has good things for us in heaven. What are some of the things that are in heaven? Nature. Nature, you see plants and animals. Mm -hmm. And animals. And animals. So, uh, Tracy, can you show us what you, you, you the, the, um, the heaven you, you build and tell us something about how you see heaven in your, your world? It's up in a cloud and a garden of flowers with the gates. Mm -hmm. What else? It's beautiful. 
very beautiful. She, 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 she gave us the different flowers, butterflies running there, and uh, they are, everybody will have their own mansions. So she has built a very nice mansion for herself um, and very beautiful things. Uh, so uh, one of the awards is uh, we do our, um, about the, the heaven. So we could either do about heaven um, and the other award could also be about the universe. So uh, in the world, uh, the world has very many, uh, we have the solar system. So the solar yes. system has very many uh, uh, small planets um, which, which you can see, okay, yeah, can you show? And the, the, the one that is closest to the sun is called Mercury. It's the sun, then Mercury, then Venus, then Earth, then Mars, then Jupiter, then Saturn, then Uranus, and then Pluto, oh, Pluto is not considered. Neptune, Pluto. Very nice. So um, we are going to, we find that God created the earth, the whole universe, and according to our lesson about our world, this is how the whole world looks like, and we are in earth, in planet earth, which is the third uh, uh, planet. Uh, so we are going to sing one song um, before we wind up our lesson today. And as just to remind us that we have two awards for our lesson. One is the listening award, where you can make a phone or a telephone using uh, homemade, th home, uh, homemade materials. Then the next one is building uh, or putting a craft, a picture about how you view heaven. And we are told that heaven has very ni many nice things. Um, or you can make the heaven or you can make the solar system, which is the world that God has created. It has different planets in there. So we are going to sing one song as, as we finish um, about Jesus loves the little children. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Thank you very much. So we'd like to recap our lesson uh, for today. We have learned about uh, the pledge, our, our song, um, the laws, and we have looked about uh, the law of being obedient. When you're obedient, it means you're able to listen. And we have seen how you can get a listening award. Um, and then we have learned about reverence, meaning that we need to respect church property. We need to take care of our Bibles. And we should not make fun of holy things. As adventurers, those that we have all our 10 laws. Um, so this lesson emphasizes on the reverence and the obedience song. Um, uh, law. Um, and just reminding us that we have the listening award and the universe award. Uh, we are making either the, pla the solar system or looking at the heaven and how it should be. So that, that marks the end of our lesson um, and we'd like uh, Tracy to pray for us as we wind up our lesson. Tracy. Let us bow our heads for our word of prayer. Our kind and dear loving Father, thank you for guiding us throughout this whole lesson. Now please may you guide us as we go to the next, the, the next chapter, in Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you very much.